Hey everyone, it is uh, Mario, and it is about 11.15 at night, and I uh, actually just finished up watching Frozen 2 with my wife, and then uh, hopped on the news, and man, I'm really not a news watcher, like, at all, and uh, until I saw the NBA kind of like you know, break down and they started shutting down the leagues and stuff. That's really kind of when I kind of started paying attention to the news. And I'm probably the poster child of like refusing to watch the news for really just the negativity it promotes. But um, obviously in this case, it, it speaks a little different just because of, you know, COVID-19 and stuff. And I guess really the severity of how real it is because it's not that I'm trusting lessing, lessing God during this time um, or trusting more in science or anything. But uh, when, I, when I hear of this like strain of flu that's happening and the fact that you can be asymptomatic, meaning showing no signs that you are infected and then all of a sudden you are infected is very alarming to me. It's, um, with the flu, you, you pretty much, like, we, we know the season's coming and symptoms are pretty immediate. So there's a strong, you know, uh, plan of action. But when you can't see the enemy, right, um, that's, that's when it becomes a problem. And I started thinking about this uh, in our spiritual life and kind of what that really means. And the Bible, what it really unveils to us is the sin we have in our lives. And just like the news right now is, is pointing out the fact that this virus is one that you cannot detect you probably not going to show any type of symptoms for five to 14 days. And all of a sudden you show them, it's almost like ours. It's almost like how my life was before I came to Christ, right? I had sin with me. I didn't know I was infected and I didn't know that I was spreading that infection to other people, right? The, the interactions I chose to get involved with the, the uh, obscene things I've done, the uh, overall, uh, the, the parties, the, the, the drinking, the, the alcohol, the drugs, everything that I was participating, I was that person that was asymptomatic, right? Carrying this with me, spreading it to others, infecting them and destroying their lives. And then just like the news, just like the experts, just like the word of God reveals our sin, right? I was opened and aware of what was happening, right? And I, and for a period of, of uh, two years, I mean, just really suffering through it all, right? And so obviously with this, uh, with this disease, you know, that's going on, we know it makes you, you know, you're forced to quarantine, you're going to be sick. Uh, most experts are saying it's like a prolonged flu. I know the probability of myself actually catching it and dying from it is extremely low, but it could happen. I say all that to say this. That's what the word of God does to us in our, in our spiritual lives. It, it, it reveals that virus that we're carrying. And if we choose to not do anything about it, right? The, the Bible is our vaccine. It, it's the only thing that can extract this virus, extract this sin in our lives and take it out completely and make us immune to it in the future if we choose to follow um, what the Word of God says. The Word of God is very simple. It calls for a little bit of faith, a little bit of belief, a little bit, a lot of obedience and a lot of um, perseverance to get the crown of life. But it does take that step where you've got to read 
what is making you sick and what keeps making you sick. And I used to, um, I used to compare, you know, sin to cancer, right? It multiplies, 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 and then it hits. But amidst of all this COVID-19 stuff and just thinking about my life and how, how ignorant I used to be of, of the sin I was walking in and how I was constantly affect, you know, infecting others without even realizing it. That's really what the case is of those walking right now with the COVID-19 strand of virus, right? They are walking around interacting with people, not knowing they have it, infecting other people. And in turn, that person gets, and it just really starts this chain reaction. And so I don't know why this thought really came over me, but I really wanted to share maybe that parallel with somebody who may watch this video of, man, now is the time to, to, to open up the word and just read some of those things you've been doing, right? Some of that idolatry, some of that fornication, some of, some of those drunkenness that you've been doing and, and open up that word and let, just let that Bible really you know, be that vaccine to your virus right now. Be that vaccine to your sin and, and break you away from it. Um, read Galatians 5, 19 uh, and on. And it talks about the this, the, the, the desires of, of our flesh and what it will cause you to do. And it's it's awful, right? It's, it's, it's not good stuff. It will cause you to do harmful, harmful things, uh, not only to yourself, but to others. And, um, man, it's, uh, still, a, still, a, still a trying time, right? I, I still don't think where we've, uh, even really scratched the surface of this. It's going to get worse. Um, and I'm like Mr. Positive, right? I'm not the type to, to ever really think about this, but, uh, humbly, I am thinking about it, preparing for it, um, spreading this little small message to turn this situation, turn this situation from a negative, hopefully to a positive one. And there's only one solution to fully get rid of any, any spiritual disease in your life. And that is to follow Acts 238, which Peter said unto them, repent, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It was once asked to me uh, while teaching, what does remission mean? Well, remission can mean a lot of things, but it means liberty. It means freedom. It means the removal or it means it means the eradication. So imagine, imagine being removed Imagine being freed. Imagine experiencing liberty away from sin that destroys your life now. That destroys your life now. And imagine walking in a newness of life. And that's what you can have with Christ Jesus. I hope this message has has reached you. I don't know who this message was for, but I just felt pressed upon my spirit to just press record, start talking with no direction, and just let the Holy Spirit do its thing. God bless you all. Be safe during this time. My name is Brother Mario. God bless.